Well, we don't think that the uh, kind of the second order effects really have been priced in yet. And so last week we took down some of our overweights in equities to reflect that, and we're kind of risk neutral now. We all know that trade policy can change with a tweet, but at, at the same time, uh, certainly there, there are things like supply chain disruptions that can occur, and we're already seeing from some of our clients, our industry leaders who run businesses, that some of the uncertainty is flowing through in how they allocate capital, and we want to respond to that. Mark, should we be talking about the word global recession anytime soon? I don't think we're headed for a global recession anytime soon. Keep in mind that earnings this quarter, uh, you know, the U.S. is first up and we're looking at 20% growth. I think that's on, on track. So recession is not on the table, but perhaps a repricing of some of this risk can come as we make it through this earnings season and start to hear how companies address what they're facing in terms of this global trade uh, spat. So you told us there that you've got underweight global equities. What would you be watching for to encourage a change in that and in potentially adding risk back to your portfolio? So we're neutral in global equities right now coming, coming off overweights. And I think uh, that's the right question to ask because if we don't think the cycle is over, we do need to be thinking, what would we like to see to um, add, add risk back? And first, I think, is a continuation of strong uh, estimates in terms of prop profit growth for corporations and, you know, some, uh, some sign that this dispute is going to be resolved, uh, hopefully between maybe as a first step, the U.S. and its EU partners, and then some sign that things get better on the China side. But I'd also caution that um, many people think that the Trump administration wants to wrap this all up before the midterm elections. And I think that you have to question if that's, that's the case. So don't expect that uh, all of this will be resolved for very quickly, and maybe the market needs to just price that in a little bit. So uh, a move in prices here to, to better valuations could also be a reason that you want to start to reinitiate on the equity side. And, sir, President Trump also made some waves over the last couple of days uh, with his criticism of the Fed and the Fed's hiking cycle. He was also very critical about the strength of the U.S. dollar. As an investor, how seriously do you take these remarks? Do you think they're actually going to have a palpable impact on the trajectory of, one, the Fed and also the greenback from here? Well, belief that the Federal Reserve and other central banks are focused on keeping inflation uh, in check and at their target level is a cornerstone of investor uh, belief really in the market. So that's very important. I think on the grand scheme of presidents pressuring the Federal Reserve and uh, the other remarks that President Trump has made, I think that... Uh, at this point, that's a relatively minor concern in our overall asset allocation. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.